right guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are out here doing some more fishing. It's about the end of March, so we're uh, you know, just now getting into like really peak season. Today I'm fishing with Mike from Tightlining Maryland, so you'll see that first. And uh, after he leaves, we, we actually uh, switched to a different stream, um, but he ended up fishing like a different section that I'm fishing. So um, you guys will see just me fishing after we, we leave the first stream. So Mike ended up get, getting at least one fish that I know of on the second stream here. Um, I only caught three at the first stream, super tough. I actually only landed two, I uh, hooked up with the third one. And uh, I believe maybe he had a hookup as well. It was just super tough fishing. We didn't get on the stream until a little bit late, like nine-ish, actually more like 9.30. I'm thinking maybe we missed the, uh, the morning bite, but it's probably about 3, 3.30 right now. So um, I caught some fish on this creek already. So I'm just gonna continue up through here. I'm gonna be fishing until dark. And you know, hopefully we can get like an evening bite and uh, we'll see what else we can do here. So don't forget to leave a like on the video, helps my videos reach more people and keeps my morale up to keep making them for you guys. And then leave a comment below at the end and let me know what you thought of this video. And let's go ahead and get into the fishing. I think. Ah, uh, no, nah, you know what? I think he's foul hook. Are you kidding me? Oh no, he's in the mouth. He's in the mouth, but he's not as big as I thought. Dude, he like ripped me downstream. Oh my God, did he have my heart pump? Because dude, I thought it was like a 20. Like the way he took off and I couldn't like handle him. Yeah, the way I saw your I'm like rod, still you still shaking, there, dude. Like, oh man, you got a real nice fish. <laughs> All right, so I just hooked into first fish of today here. Having a rough start to the morning. Mike forgot something at the house, so he had to run back. And then uh, we, we ended up in two different places. So we had to, you know, find out where the heck we both were. There he is, we're gonna get him released. <laughs> there he goes. Nice fish, probably like 15 inches, but got a rough start to the morning. Tons of midges coming off. And uh, <laughs> Mike had some issues with his rig. Somehow it got like totally screwed up. I, I don't even know how that happened, but. I couldn't even take the reel apart to fix it. So I <laughs> did a double surgeon's not taking my reel through the loop. Was, yeah, so, nuts. but that's a good sign. First fish of the day. That was on the simple betis and hopefully Mike can get hooked up with his first one here soon too. We didn't have that fish hook up on film just because I usually don't turn the camera on until we catch one at least. See how the day is going, but he was right over in there against that log. Um, there's like, it looks like there's like a deep little pocket over in there. There's a nice flow to it over there though. So I don't think there will be any fish shy of uh, moving water today. And we've, the water here is like super warm. This is a bigger creek, so it definitely warms up a little quicker, I think. And it's definitely warmer than any creek I've fished so far this year. And like I said, there's a pretty heavy midge hatch coming off right now. Um, and that fish was on that simple betis, so it kind of looks like a little emerger nymph, emerger betis, obviously, but we will see what else we can get into here. All right, finally, second hookup. That is on the olive quill. Nice. So both both fish today took an olive them. All right, second fish of the day, finally. Had to work for both fish today so far. And uh, he was on the little olive quill. We're gonna get him back in. All right, so, so far day is not going as expected. I thought today was gonna be super good. I mean, I'm, I'm fishing all day until dark. Mike's got to head out about midday, but yeah, I was thinking this morning was going to be really good. Granted, we did start fishing a little late, but not like too, too late. So I don't know. I mean, I've picked up two fish and that's all. I think Mike said he got like a, a definite hit from a fish, like a quick strike. And that was it. I thought I had maybe a few strikes as well that were quick. But again, just super tough. I mean, we started out this morning with a nice midge hatch coming off, but that ended up slowing up. There's a few still coming off right now. 
But yeah, just not much action. I don't know, maybe we missed a bite in the morning. Hopefully, I'm hoping that if I stay all day and fish, I can catch another evening bite now that we're getting further into the water warming up and you know bugs hatching and stuff so we'll see mike just had a fish and it popped off today has been tough tough fishing all right everyone we have made a stream change mike is also here fishing we actually ended up in wrong places again two separate areas so he's actually way upstream of me he's just going to finish out his day there um, because he only has about an hour left and I had already walked all the way down here so I didn't feel like walking all the way back up there. Mike, uh, he got here a little bit before me because uh, I actually stopped and got something to eat. He said he was able to pick up one so far so we shall see what I can do. It's starting to get a little cloudy so hopefully that helps. I mean that first stream we started out on was not going too well there. We were able to catch two fish. I hooked up with a third one but I know I didn't actually land that fish, so I don't even I forget if it's actually on the GoPro or not. There is a little brownie. All right, he was on the little simple betas. He's got like weird little colors to him. I believe there are some caddis coming off right now. So I'm gonna put a, on the, the point fly, I'm gonna change to a waltz with a green hotspot. Literally first cast with the change to the waltz and we we're hooked up. I can't tell if that's what he's on though. All right, so I believe he was actually on the betas. I couldn't really tell. He actually like popped out before I saw. But it looked like he was on the top fly. All right, hooked up here again. A little better size one. Right now I'm currently running a size 14 blowtorch and the bait is still. And I believe he actually, yeah, he took the blowtorch. So we're gonna keep the blowtorch on for a little bit. See what that does. I put that on since there's caddis coming off. Not a bad little fish. Let's get him back in. I just kind of got him out of this. There's like a slow inner seam right here. So I'm just casting up in front of me before I walk up that way. All right, we are hooked up again. Looks like this is another blowtorch eater. Strong little guy. Yeah, you can see right there, right in his upper lip. All right, like we'd expect it. Yeah, it's not a bad little fish though. Nice, probably 12 inches. There he goes. They seem to be really sitting in these soft spots. Uh, both fish down lower were behind a boulder in like a eddy behind it. And I've caught three fish now, I believe, from the edge here. I could be counting wrong. Maybe it was two. Oh, that was a good fish. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you could see him, I saw him flash when I set the hook. So this is like a little tip. Like, I don't even know if this is a tip, but this is something that I do that I think helps out a lot sometimes. Um, you just kinda, it's weird to explain, but you have to visualize your drift and you have to like visualize a fish taking your nymph. So like each drift, I'm thinking, 
of like an exact spot of where I think like a fish is laying. And I'm sort of just like visualizing that in my head, like visualizing the fish laying there, my fly going past it and it eating it. I don't know, it's it's super weird, but I feel like it just helps because it, it helps you have like confidence that your fly is actually doing what you want it to be doing. I don't know, yeah, just, I mean, it's more of like, just like a confidence thing, I feel like. All right, guys, moved upstream a little bit past some of that slower water. Um, as I was walking up through that last riffle though, I spooked a sucker moving up through the, the riffles. So I switched up my rig. Right now I'm running an egg on the point and I got the blowtorch. I downsized the blowtorch now that it's on the tag. So I was originally running a blowtorch size 14 on the point, but uh, now that I'm running it on the tag, I switched over to a 16. Uh, still the same tie though. So hopefully we can get into some more fish here. I believe that was maybe just a take. Also wanted to correct myself from earlier. So earlier I said that those were caddis coming off. They're actually stoneflies. So I thought about switching over to a stonefly, but I mean, I was already catching them on the blowtorch. So I didn't actually throw on a stonefly and I opted to stick with the, the blowtorch because I mean, yeah, their stoneflies coming off, but if they're taking the blowtorch, why switch? Guys, this is a monster. This is a monster. A monster. Oh my god. Well, maybe not a monster, but he's big. He is on the blowtorch. I just gotta get downstream of him. Yes, yes, baby. Right in behind that boulder. Oh, I saw, I saw his head shakes and everything. I knew this guy was big. Not as big as I originally thought, but this is a good 18, 19 inch fish. All right, guys. So this is the fish we just got into. This is a nice big brown. Got a big gnarly head on him. Um, he took the blowtorch and totally engulfed it. I mean, he was pretty far down his mouth. So we're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water and continue up through here. That's his full body. Off he goes. All right, guys. I apologize. We, we haven't been getting many fish on hookup. Um, I've been turning my camera off because I don't want to waste all my batteries before we get into the evening because I feel like we're probably going to run into some sort of evening bite. And uh, I just I just didn't want to waste all the batteries. So I've been kind of turning it off. And then as soon as I turn it off, I hook up with a fish. So I'm going to try to keep it on here for a little bit again and hopefully we can get some hookups i mean we're, we're starting to get into the evening now anyway so hopefully it starts to pick up some and maybe that big fish is the start of it all right guys that is going to be it for this video uh, i actually forgot to do the outro while i was on the creek so i'm already driving back home I gave it another, you know, two and a half, almost three hours after I caught that last big fish and uh, just nothing. I think I rolled like two fish after that, that were, they looked like they were pretty good size, but that was it. Um, I mean, just overall a tough day of fishing. I think I maybe ended with around uh, eight or nine fish total, but I mean, I really had to work for them. I mean, we, we started fishing at like 9.30 in the morning and I fished till about 6.30. So that's about nine hours of fishing so uh definitely a tough day but you know i got a really nice fish there at the, the, for my last fish so i'm happy with that i can't really complain but that's gonna be it for this one hope you guys enjoyed leave a like uh helps my videos reach more people and then leave a comment let me know what you guys thought of this video and until next time peace